Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am here with my butterflies. So I have been making lots and lots of butterflies. As you can see, there's some small ones and also some big ones. So in today's tutorial, we are making the small ones. This is a cotton I have been using. It's a uh, Sachenmeyer Catania cotton. It's 100% cotton and it's um, mercerized. Um, the size of the hook that they prescribe is a two and a half to three and a half because it's a fine and that means I think it's obviously, yes, it's it's thinner than DK. So I, am, I have been using a uh, two and a half hook and that's given me the um you know sort of the tightness of the stitches that I liked and of course you need your scissors and your darning needle now the colors are uh, described in numbers so this color is 0173 this color is 0124 this color is 0130 this color is 0201 and this color is 0261 so these as I said I've been using for quite a few projects so let's get started I have obviously made these in lots and lots of combinations already so I am trying to find a combination that I haven't done yet so we're going to start with the cream color and you make your slip knot, put it round your hook, and we are going to do eight chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go back to the first chain that we made. You go in there and we do a slip stitch. This will then create a circle. Into this circle we are going to work, so chain up two, yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to do double crochets into the circle and we are going to make groups of three. So this chain two counts as the first double crochet. So this is our first group of three double crochets. Then we are going to do two chains and another group of three double crochets. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and you always work into the circle and you do this until you have eight clusters of three double crochets. So we need eight lots of three double crochets and two chains. I'm just going to keep going and see how it goes. So there I have four now. So I'm going to do my chains and as you can see I've only got this little bit of space left. That's okay. We are just going to scoot them over so you have more space to work. So you do another cluster And you might just have to scoot them over again because it does come back and don't forget to count. So one, two, three, four, five. I have done my two chains and I am going to do my sixth cluster and two chains and on to the seventh cluster. And once again, I am finding it hard to find space to work in. So I am just scooting them over again. Do this really well. Even if you think it's too much space, it's better to sort of create a little bit too much because it will sort of slowly 
come back on you. There we go. So this is the last double crochet I'm having to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clusters. Now I do my two chains. So now I am ready for my slip stitch. These are my two chains from when I started the round. There's a V here. I'm going to go under that one, pull up a loop and pull that loop straight through the loop on my hook. And there we have it. This is our first round finished. So I am going to change colour. So I'm going to cut off my end and I pull it through the loop so it's finished off. To get started on our round two, we are going to choose a second colour and I make a slip knot. Put in your hook and adjust it. Now I like to start with a standing stitch because I find it a lot neater. So this time we are going to be working in the chain two spaces around. Okay, so you've got your chain two spaces and I am going to insert into one of those and do a single crochet like that. Then you do a half double crochet, then you do three double crochets, that's the second one, and this is the third one. Then you do another half double crochet, and then you do a single crochet. Okay, so let me show you those in close up. So into the next chain space, you go in pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, so that's your single crochet. Then you yarn over into the chain two space, pulling up a loop, yarn over again and pull through all three loops on your hook. For the half double crochet, yarn over, three double crochets, insert, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's split a little bit, yarn over, pull through two, again, same thing, so you create a second double crochet and your third one. And yarn over into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. And then yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through all three loops on your hook into the opening and you just do a single crochet. So these are the little wings of the butterfly that we are now making. So we are going to repeat this sequence into every chain space around. So that means you have to make eight of these sequences. Um, yeah, so one, two, yeah, so I need another double crochet, then we are back at the half double and the single. So I will see you when you have finished all eight of your little wings. So I have just done my last single crochet here and now we need to finish the round by doing a slip stitch and we're going to go back to that first single crochet that we did, we go under the V that's on top of that cro single crochet and we are going to do a slip stitch and finish the round. So you will see that your work does not lay flat and that's fine. So we are now ready to do the body of the butterfly. I am going to make a slip knot in the colour that I want the body to be. I am going to put it around my hook and I'm going to chain about 10 chains. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might need to chain more or I might need to chain less. It all depends. So let's just see how we are going to make the butterfly first. So you fold over your little work that you've made here making sure 
that you have sort of petals lining up. So you have four petals facing you and four petals on the back. Then what I generally do is I take my little chain and I am going to have that at the top of the butterfly, so at the head. Then I move it all the way round. And is 10 long enough? Yeah, I think so. It, you don't want it to be too loose. Mm, actually, I might just do one more. <laughs> and you don't want it to be too tight either. So then you go into the first chain that you did and bring the yarn round whichever way you can basically and you do a slip stitch closing the circle see and then I suggest you do a couple of chains two or three and then you go back into the first one that you did or even just also into that first one of the other one that you did first and you do a slip stitch and then I suggest you pull up a loop like this you cut off the yarn and you continue with uh, your needle you've now made the start of a little head with doing that little pico and you've also got your second end at the top. So these two are going to be acting for the antennae. So I then use my needle. I thread it on. And I go through the head a couple of times. Backwards and forwards. Just pulling it down. Making it bigger. There we go. See? And just really shaping it the way you want it to look. And I also sort of tend to go round the little um, pico that you made just to make it bigger. And then as last, what I do, I go up into it and out of it on one side like so. And that then is the place where the antenna is going to come out of the head. And I cut it at about this length and it just stays up like that. Okay, now we're going to do the second one and that's exactly the same really. I use it to reinforce the head a little bit, to make it a little bit bigger. Go through it a couple of times. And if you think, well actually that's not too bad already. Look, I think I might just leave it. Less is more, hey? There we go, look, that's perfect. See? So we've made the butterfly wings by making the circle, folding it double and then doing the body with a chain going round it and then just, you know, doing a pico and then working it with our needle to reinforce it, make it bigger and get the antenna to come out of the right place in the, on the head. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do like my videos, please subscribe, it's free to subscribe and leave me a comment if you've made this or if you're going to make it or if you just want to say something to me, that's fine. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!